Hello guys, this is Tina. Welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about the one to many join column. It's gonna be very short. So uh, as we know, okay, uh, when we do one to many relationship, by default, it's gonna have uh, a join table, which is an extra table to uh, uh, store the relationship between a person and address. But uh, sometimes we don't want to have a join table because it's gonna when we do a query or insertion, it's gonna have extra step which is uh, maintain the person address this uh, join table, and uh, if we want to have a uh, select, okay, then it's gonna have uh, one more table as the join, okay, so it's gonna slow down the performance. So most of the time when we design for the one to many relationship, we want to use in the join column. So how to do that when we're using unidirectional? Very easy. <laughs> Probably you already know so far, you already know, okay. Just add a join column here, okay. And you can give a name, which is address ID. Otherwise, the default name gonna be this name, okay, this variable name plus the primary key name of this address. And it's better to customize, okay, so you will clear know uh, what is the foreign key, okay. So we can do like a, to make a change. This one is addresses, this is default. Previously, it's a join table, and when we add a join, join column here, we force hibernate, okay. I don't want a join table. Please, I know, please create a extra column on the address. Even though in under the address, there's an in under the address class, it doesn't aware of person. But I'm sure what I'm doing. I just want to have extra oh sorry, person ID. Sorry, person ID. I just want to have an extra column under the address and uh, this uh, uh, extra column is to display for person ID, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna be address and uh, this person ID. I'm not sure if it include the, 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 this person class. We can do is uh, we remove this one first and run, okay? To see what's gonna become the default uh, join column name. Okay, you can see, take a look at. Here I create address, ID, street, zip code, and it has an extra column. Oh, I predicted the correct. It's gonna using this name, underscore, plus this primary key. And for the person table, it only has a person ID, first name, last name. I, and uh, this one is to add the foreign key constraint, okay? So you to create two tables. And when we go to the, go to where? The workbench. These two tables are not because of that one, okay? These two tables because of uh, my last demo. What I can do is uh, we drop them, okay? Drop all of them and we rerun. <coughs> And you can see it only has two table, two table. And for the person, it only have three column, person ID, first and last name. And for the address, you will see extra foreign key, like uh, this one. This is extra foreign key. This is a default foreign key uh, name. If we want to customize, you just add a name on the join column, like this one, right? Person ID, okay, PID. And then it's gonna use in the PID as the foreign key, the extra column in under the address table. Mm, good. You can see here, create a table address, it's already see it's a PID, okay? 
So when we do, you will see PID and nothing changes in the person. Okay. So uh, this is a join uh, column. Uh, so just choose what you want. Uh, the the benefit with using join table is if let on you don't it's not a one to many relationship it's a many to many relationship, and you just need to drop the unique unique constraint on the address, then the table will become a many to many relationship table, but with the join column it's hard to convert one to many to many to many because it's extra column. You have to redesign everything. With join column, you just need to drop one constraint on the address ID. If you don't know about this unique constraint, take a look at my previous video, one too many unidirectional join table. I explained that, okay? So thank you for watching for this video and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.